Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So this, not a super juice, but it is very similar. And it's also a way to get about eight times more juice out of one citrus. And I must say, I kind of like this a little bit better. The thing is, it is so similar to the real super juice and I think it would be unfair to call it and not a name. But at the same time, it is different enough that I am pretty sure that Nicole Morris who created this technique would disagree with me if I would call it a super juice. But still, there's a reason why I do it, so let's answer the questions why and how and let's put it to test in a delicious gin cocktail. Let's go. Today's video, my friend, is sponsored by Empress 1908 Gin. If you don't know it by now, I'm a huge fan. I've been using it for a long time on this channel, even for unsponsored videos, so you can believe me, I truly, genuinely love this gin. Empress is a small batch copper pot steel gin distilled in Victoria, BC in Canada. It's made out of eight different botanicals, such as the juniper berries, obviously, and then you get a beautiful balanced flavor profile between the hearty notes and the light notes. On the hearty side, you get some ginger roots, some tea leaves, and then on the bright notes, you get some grapefruit zest, some rose petals. The result is a beautifully balanced gin that suits any style of cocktails. The gin was crafted in collaboration with the iconic Empress Hotel in Victoria in honor of their legendary high tea service. And the gin really was made to honor that beautiful full practice that made this hotel very famous. Then the color comes from the butterfly pea blossom flowers, which is part of one of Empress's signature tea blend. And not only it gives the beautiful color to the gin, it also adds a little extra hearty notes to emphasize the botanicals of the gin for both a unique look and taste. So if you want to know more about Empress, head over to their website. Link is going to be in the description and the pinned comment below. It is a great and complete website with lots of information. There's a great cocktail section, so it's really worth a visit. So thank you very much Empress for sponsoring this video. But now let's go back to today's topic and let's talk about Super Juice. So it's been a little more than half a year now since this big super juice thing exploded and took over the cocktail world. Pretty much every cocktail YouTube channel talked about it, everybody interested about cocktails heard about the super juice, but I haven't talked about it yet. The reason is simply because, well, I'm not a big fan of it. There's something in the flavor of the super juice I'm just not a big fan of, and I still prefer using fresh citruses or cordial for my acidity. Recently though, I rewatched Morris's video about his whole thought process behind the creation of the super juice, which is a great video by the way. I'm gonna link it in the description below if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend it. It's an hour long though, so you have to be prepared to watch a video for one whole hour, but the whole thing is very interesting. Rewatching it though, I realized that what I don't like about the super juice is exactly what he loves the most. So I feel kind of bad saying so, but I also feel at the same time that we're all entitled to our own preferences. So I allowed myself to rejigger this recipe to make it more for me and share it with you just in case you feel the same way as I do. So to make some super juice, you have to extract the oils of a citrus with some acid. Once you're done, you have to rehydrate that with water to blend the peels with the water and then filter it. And this is what Nicole Morris calls the oleo citrate. For him, blending the peels will add some flavor, color, and texture. I totally agree with the texture thing because without that it's just like a flavored water that lacks the viscosity that real juice would have. Then having more color obviously there is nothing wrong with that and by blending the peels your liquid will loose meaning that it's gonna get a little more opaque and it's gonna look even more like a real juice. Where I have my reserves is with the extra flavor. Morris took the example of the daiquiri. He says a daiquiri made with lime super juice will taste better because it will then be a lime flavored cocktail first with a little bit of rum. But I personally prefer my daiquiris to be rum flavored first, then balanced by the sweet and sour sugar and lime flavors. But this is an example with a cocktail that has a very light flavor profile. On the other hand, if you're making a cocktail like a zombie for example, with heavy rum, cinnamon syrups, absent, then yes, of course, super juice, both the lime and the grapefruit will really shine next to those intense flavors. So all that to say that, of course, the super juice is a great concept, but I believe it should be divided in two recipes according to the style of cocktail you're making, one with the blended zest and one without. But with the one without, you would lack some viscosity and this is when I believe my idea becomes really interesting. So to make my version of this, we're gonna start with the exact same thing as the classic super juice recipe calls for. With the peeler, we're gonna zest some limes, we're gonna weight the peel and we're gonna add to that a mix of citric and malic acid. 
For the quantity of acid, you need two thirds of citric for one third of malic, and together they need to weigh the exact same thing than your pills weight. If you don't want to do the math, my friend Kevin Koss included a super juice calculator on his website, so as well, I'm going to link that in the description below. Then you're simply going to close your container and shake it a little bit to make sure that the acid is properly distributed within the pills. And you're going to let that sit at room temperature for about two hours until the acid gets slightly liquefied. And keep an eye on it. If you see that your pills are getting brownish, that means that they are starting to oxidize. So this is the time to stop the process. Next step is to rehydrate all this and dissolve the acid leftover. And I prefer my acidity at six person. So for every six grams of acid together, we're going to add 100 ml of filtered water. So once you've added the water, you're gonna stir until everything is perfectly dissolved. And once you're there, you're gonna remove the peels immediately. Then it's time to fix the viscosity that's lacking due to the fact that we didn't blend the peel. So we're simply gonna add some acacia roots powder and that's gonna do the trick just fine. For the quantity, for every 100 ml of liquid, I'm adding 20 grams of powder. I give a quick stir, leave my spoon in there and wait until the powder has dissolved. Usually that's going to take about two hours. Then the exact same way as the classic super juice recipe calls for, we're going to juice the limes that we use for the peels. We're going to throw that juice in the liquid, give a quick stir, bottle it up and store it in the fridge. And this beautiful liquid will stay bright, fresh, crisp and tasty for about a week. So now let's give it a try in a cocktail that is, in my opinion, best suited for this version of the super juice. We're going to make a cocktail with a light flavor profile where I want the spirit to shine. So we're gonna make a gin gimlet with the Empress Gin. So first in the shaker, we're gonna add two ounces or 60 ml of the Empress Gin. One ounce or 30 ml of our new super juice. And three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of simple syrup. Then we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. We're gonna fine strain it in a chill cocktail coupe. This one I'm gonna leave it without any garnishes today because the whole point of making super juice or something similar like I just did is to get more out of your limes. And in my opinion, a lime wheel, which is usually the garnish for a gin gimlet, is completely useless. So there's no point of using that in my gimlet using super juice or my super juice. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I do not guarantee that I will not make something cute for my thumbnail, but for the sake of the concept of today's video, right now, I'm gonna leave it as is. So now, let's give it a try. Mm, yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want with this style of cocktail light flavor profile where the spirit is the star of the show. The backbone of this cocktail is the gin and its botanicals that's perfectly supported and balanced by the dry tartness of the lime flavors that's really there and it's lingering but it's not overpowering and that's what I love about this version of the super juice for this style of cocktail. So my friends this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're gonna find it useful. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next one. Until then thank you very much again have a great day and don't forget to visit empress's website if you want to know more about the delicious and beautiful gin cheers that's freaking awesome